Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, we are going to do level four of rotation. Now, initially I didn't plan on doing this. Uh, I planned on moving on to the next concept immediately, but I felt that uh, it's important for you guys to learn how to rotate an entire shape about this fixed point, which in this case is the center. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a triangle over here, PQR, which we're going to rotate about the center X three comma three. So that means three comma three is our center of rotation. So, and again, we're gonna use this weird looking shape. Uh, and we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees and 90 degrees clockwise, okay? So initially we were just rotating points, but this time we're gonna be rotating uh, an entire shape, which is made up of points. So, you know, it's as good as rotating points. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, since we're rotating 180 degrees, which by the way is the easiest thing there is. So let's say we start with P, okay? So I'm gonna be using this sign over here that I have, okay? So P from the center is one, two, two units to the right and one unit down. So let's mark that over here, two units to the right and one unit down. Now imagine this spinning 180 degrees. So this two unit that you're looking at ends up over here. So that means it's gonna be two units to the left and one unit up. Okay, so from the center, two units to the left and one unit up means this is where P prime is going to be. Okay, prime is representing the image. Okay, and P without the prime is representing the object. Now let's talk about Q. So Q is one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I miss anything? No. So six points to the right and one unit down. So let's erase the two. Okay, we can keep the one. So six units to the right and one down. So that means if this were to spin 180 degrees, so uh, doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, it's gonna be six units to the left from the center and one unit up. So let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one up. So this is where Q prime is going to be. Now, one thing that I'm going to check is I'm going to check the length of this line, okay, and make sure it's equal to this because we're rotating, right? So that means the size should not change. So this is one, two, three, four units, and this also is one, two, three, four, yep, four units. So R has to be somewhere over here, okay? So the reason why I'm saying this right now is so that you know that once you're done rotating it, uh, it should be somewhere over here, okay? So if I look at R, R is one, two, three units to the right and two up, okay? So from the center, so I'm just gonna erase everything over here. So three units to the right and two up. So I don't have that over here, so nothing to worry about. Let's change it fr from right to up, to up and then right. So two units up and then one, two, three units to the right. So two units up, two units up and three units to the right. So from the center, it's two units up and three units to the right. That means if uh, we spin this 180 degrees, that's gonna be two down and three to the left. So from the center, two down and three to the left, one, two, and three. So this is where we are to be where we are at, at uh, the y-axis. So now it's just a matter of joining these three points. And that's about it. There we go. Yep, so before I walk away from it, I'm just gonna look at it from a distance and see if this makes sense. Whether this really looks like a 180 degree rotation or not, it does, so good news. That means we can happily walk away from it. Okay, now we're doing 90 degree clockwise. So 90 degree clockwise, uh, again, we're gonna be using the same sign. So I'm just gonna erase everything. And make sure you write, you use a pencil when you're, you know, um, I mean, you can make the sign uh, with a pen if you want, but don't do that, you use a pencil. And then whatever mark, uh, whatever values you write down, that should definitely uh, be done in a pencil rather than pen. Okay, so you can erase it and use it over and over again instead of making multiple signs. So 90 degree clockwise is where we're at. So let's start with P. So that's one, two, two units to the right and one down. So two units to the right and one down. I'm doing this with a color green, by the way. Spinning this 90 degree clockwise means it's now gonna be two down and one to the left. So from the center, one, two, down and one to the left. So this is where we are. Let's call this P prime so that I know that this point is done. Now let's talk about Q. Q as we saw earlier is six units to the right and one unit down. That means it's gonna be six down and one unit to the left. So let's do that. Six units down, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one unit to the left, so there you go. Now one thing to keep in mind over here is that uh, when you're rotating 180 degrees, a horizontal line is going to remain horizontal, okay? But uh, uh, if it's 90 degrees, a horizontal line is going to turn vertical, and if you have a vertical line, that means it's going to turn horizontal. So you can see that PQ was horizontal, and now it's vertical. Okay, now let's talk about R. So R from the center is one, two units up and one, two, three, three units to the right. So two up and three to the right. So if I rotate this 90 degree clockwise, where does that take me? That takes me two units to the right 
and it takes me three units down so there we are from the center two units to the right and three units down one two three there you go it's on the x-axis now okay that's great now let's join them and i'm going to join them using the color green to make a triangle and as always before you walk away from it look at it from a distance exactly like i'm doing right now and it does make sense this does look like a 90 degree clockwise rotation so yeah this is how you can rotate uh, entire shapes using the center which is other than the origin so i hope uh, this video made sense to you and i hope you've understood this concept in the next video we're going to learn how to find the center of rotation i think i said that in the last video also but that's because i didn't plan on doing this but in the next video for sure we're going to learn how to find the center of rotation so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care Bye bye